loves. It's currently 3.30 on Wednesday afternoon. I'm so confused in my days. On Wednesday afternoon and I feel like relaxing for the rest of the day. I went out for a massage earlier on today and then I've just done a video of come on a scavenger book hunt with me in Waterstones, um, which was lush. I had a really good time. The massage was amazing, but I've just done two pretty heavy back-to-back -back days with work as well, where, which covered both my day job and YouTube, Patreon, and also the shop. Very, very busy days because we had a massive drop on the shop on Saturday and I've been packing them ever since. So uh, I feel like just chilling and relaxing and I thought that I would do like a little bit of a 24 hour reading vlog into tomorrow. Uh, so I think I'm gonna start at like 4 p.m. It's currently 3.30 p.m. Just, that's me and Tom Dog. Um, so I thought that I would film it because why not? I have started a couple books already this week. I would like to finish them. The first one is Check Please Volume 1. I am enjoying this one. It is a queer graphic novel about this boy, Eric Bittle, who loves to play hockey, but also bake. Uh, he is gay and he falls in love with his best friend, Jack, who's also on his hockey team. And this is very much a slow burn. I am here so far. I mean, a lot's happened as far as the game's concerned in settling in a college and settling in with all of his teammates and flatmates and stuff like that. But other than that, not a great deal has happened. I think it, we're going to start getting into it now. But I also have volume two, but I just plan on reading volume one today. So I'm 152 pages in. I would really like to finish this off. And then I also have Rainbow Grey by Laura Ellen Anderson that I am partway through as well. I am here. I'm not that far in, but it didn't take that long to get here. So I am currently 91 pages into this. So I would like to finish this off as well. This follows Ray Gray, who is a young girl who wishes she had magic like her friends. Life in the Netherlands just isn't the same without it. But then a forbidden trip to earth turns everything Ray thought she knew about herself upside down. Ray must dig deep to find her inner power, battle new enemies and let her true colors shine. Uh, she's just about to go on the trip to earth now on her cloud cat. Cat cloud? Cloud cat. Same thing, it's cat that's a cloud. Um, so I would like to finish both of those two off, which I am part way through. And then I do have a couple of books that I should be reading. So one of them is The ABC Murders by Agatha Christie, which I am buddy reading with both Gav and India. This is a murder mystery, obviously it's Agatha Christie. And basically the killer, I think is killing people uh, via like the alphabet. So he's killing like Adam, Appleby in Aylesbury or something you know do you get what I mean so I don't know how what the word is but there is no synopsis on this because uh it's the hardback edition that Gav got me so I'm really interested in reading this one it is a Poirot one I don't think it'll take me too long because it is short so I do need to read this one because it's a buddy read so there is that one the other one that I need to reread is The Kiss Quotient by Helen Huang this is the clit lit book pick for the month of may i've already read this previously but it was several years ago now i think when it first came out but i'm really interested in i'm really interested i'm really excited about rereading this one and i might try and tab it up as well i'm obviously i'm going to make some notes because we will have a live show on this but i'm going to assume it's going to end up being after my holiday so again i could just leave it and wait until my holiday and take this with me I'm on the fence because the other book that I want to read, basically this one is, have you ever seen Pretty Woman? No? What are you doing with your life? Go watch Pretty Woman. It's fantastic. If you have seen Pretty Woman, you'll know what I'm talking about. We're following Stella Lane, who has Asperger's and basically she's getting it in the neck. She's a very successful businesswoman, but she's getting it in the neck from her mum that she should be settling down and getting married and having babies, etc., etc. So she gives in and she's a little bit nervous because she doesn't know how to act properly. Her social cues are off and everything to do with her Asperger's. And she ends up using the help of a male escort called michael i forgot his name for a minute then call michael um and they end up you know he ends up helping her he uh wants to help her out and things just go from there and i absolutely love this book it's fantastic i got five stars the first time reader i have no doubt it's gonna get five stars again 
but I love this book and it gives me Pretty Woman vibes and I'm obsessed. So there's that one that I probably should read, but also the live show will probably be after my holiday now. So I could push it back because the other book that I really, really, really want to read is Book Lovers by Emily Henry. <laughs> Uh, I really want to pick this one up and I'm not going to take this on holiday I don't think so if I don't pick this up now it'll have to be like after holiday when I pick this up but I already have my TBR for June so it'll probably be like July before I pick it up. Uh, this one is One Summer Two Rivals a plot twist they didn't see coming. Nora Stevens life is books she reads them all and and she is not that type of heroine. Not the plucky one, not the laid back dream girl, and especially not the sweetheart. In fact, the only people Nora is a heroine for are her clients, for whom she lands enormous deals as a cutthroat literary agent and her beloved little sister, Libby. Which is why she agrees to go to Sunshine Falls, North Carolina for the month of August when Libby begs her for a sister trip away. With visions of a small town transformation for Nora, who she's convinced needs to become the heroine in her own story, but instead of picnics in meadows or run-ins with a handsome country doctor or bulging four-round bartender, Nora keeps bumping into Charlie Lastra, a bookish brooding editor from back in the city. It would be a meet cute if not for the fact they've met many times before and it's never been cute. If Nora knows she's not an ideal heroine, Charlie knows he's nobody's hero. But as they are thrown together again and again in a series of coincidences no editor worth their salt would allow, what they discover might just unravel the carefully crafted stories they've written about themselves. I just need it. <laughs> so I am thinking that I might read this one and save this one for holiday because it's not that long and it will be a good read for holiday I think because it's a reread as well so I'm thinking this one so my TBR for the 24 hours looks something like this I am obviously part way through two of them already uh, and I don't anticipate reading all three of these uh, but I'm not sure on which one to read out of these two so that's where I'm at I'm gonna try and finish check please and rainbow grow first uh, but that those are my plans for the 24 hour reading vlog it's gonna be super freaking chill I just want to relax and try and get back because I went to do the um, scavenger hunt straight after my massage so I want to try and get back into the zen mode that I was in after my massage this morning. <laughs> uh, so we're going to chill. I've got some snacks. I have pizza for tea later which I'm really excited about and I'm going to get myself ready now for this 24 hour reading vlog. I will be sleeping um, but I just wanted to chill and get some reading done and you know, vibe. So I'm gonna go don't get myself ready and I'll see you in a bit. Feel shame. If there's a question, it can't wait another day. Don't feel like it's all in vain. I try to remember it in a race. Breathe out. It doesn't matter anyway. Slow, watch the road, stop driving myself insane. The end of the day, you got me in. If there's an answer, it can't wait till another day Don't regret making mistakes There's no need, it's just a game Breathe out, it doesn't matter anyway Breathe in, it's about happiness in the end Take it slow, watch the road stop Driving myself insane
Hello, a little bit of time has passed, it's 10 past six. So we're over two hours into the video now, well, into this vlog. 24 hour period, that's what I'm looking for. Um, and I have finished a book. I did finish Check Please, volume one. This is adorable. Um, the whole, you know, romance bit doesn't happen till the end of the book. So naturally I kind of want to pick volume two up, but I'm not going to do that because I feel like this is a really good graphic novel to save for a readathon. Not any readathon in specific, but maybe I could pick it up for whatever a thon. Uh, but just in general, to save for a readathon, I love saving graphic novels for readathons because they're perfect for them. So I may save it for that. Um, actually, there is a continue a series prompt on the board maybe so i could read it for that maybe uh anyway distractions but yeah i have finished this i think this is probably going to get a four stars i haven't run it through core power yet but i think it's probably going to get a four star uh, i'll make sure to run all my books through core power before the end of the video so you know what i've rated them but yeah i have finished that and then I didn't decide to go straight into Rainbow Grey and continue on with this. I am going to use that as a kind of uh, break book because I've decided to go straight into Butt Lovers. As soon as I read that synopsis, I just wanted to pick this up. So I have decided to go straight into this. But what I think is going to happen is that I could just plow through this this evening. There is a possibility that that could happen because I am really enjoying this book so far. But if not, I may break it up with Rainbow Grey um, and continue on with it tomorrow. But so far, I am 56 pages into this and uh, I'm really enjoying it. I'm having a really good time. Love Emily Henry's writing style. I forgot how much I enjoyed her writing style. Uh, I am obsessed. So having a really good time with this. The sisters are now currently on their holiday and uh, our main character Nora has bumped into Charlie again. So we did have the prologue where she met Charlie for the first time and now she has bumped into him again in this small town in which her and her sister Libby uh, have gone on holiday. So yeah i'm really enjoying this so far just the writing style i just forgot how much i really enjoy her writing style and how like comedic she can make it on occasion uh so yeah having a good time with this one i will carry on with this one i did also just have a so it doesn't seem like i've done a lot in the last two hours but i have finished this i've gotten 57 pages into this but i also did just have a bit of a dance party as well i was starting to nod off it's not the book's fault it's me because i had that massage earlier on today and i am like this is i am still a little bit tense i can feel it in my shoulders but this is probably like the most relaxed i've been for a while so i am when i get super relaxed i start to fall asleep because i don't get super relaxed very often and i don't sleep very often so those two things tend to come together so when i do get super relaxed i have to like get up and do stuff and um, so i got up and i did have a big massive order from boohoo so i've just tried all of those on um i bought a shit ton of stuff not expecting to keep it all and send the majority of it back because i've not been having a good time recently with clothes but i'm keeping most of it and only sending two items back <laughs> which is not a bad thing. They're all like summer clothes and they'll be perfect for my holiday, but also for like when I get back and stuff as well. So I, yeah, have ended up keeping the most part of it, but I put some music on, had a little bit of a dance party. I just put my pizza in, so that'll be going off soon. And I think I'm gonna watch a bit of booktube in the meantime. Um, or maybe an episode of something, I don't know. And not that I'm, oh yeah, I started re-watching NCIS. Maybe I could do that. So I'm either gonna watch an episode of NCIS or I'm gonna watch some booktube, probably booktube. I haven't watched booktube in a while. Um, while I eat my tea, cause I can't read while eating. It's just not a thing I can do. Uh, and then I will get back to reading. I'm so excited about this book. I'm very excited that I've decided to pick Butt Lovers up. I do still hope to read both of these. We will see. There's no way I'm going to get to the kiss quotient now, pick Butt Lovers up, but I can take that on holiday with me. That's fine. But I, hopefully I can read both of these as well. I do have the audiobook for this and I don't think it's very long. And then I have the audio for this and it won't take me too long to get through this. I think I only have about another hour left of the audio of this, to be honest, maybe an hour and 15 minutes. Uh, so it won't take me long at all, but I can use it as like a breakup for uh, book lovers if I need to, you know, and I need 
uh, you know, maybe I'm getting a bit sleepy again and I just need something to break it up a little bit or whatever. We'll see. But yeah. I, I am hoping that if I don't finish this this evening, I can get at least like halfway through-ish. But we'll see. Maybe like the 200 page mark. Uh, right, I'm going to go get myself ready for my pizza. I'm very excited for pizza. And I will check back in with you and I've got an update for you. and it is 11 a.m. Uh, I've been up like an hour and a half but I've been watching a bit of booktube I've been catching up with some of Sandra's videos and I have been chatting with the whateverathon team because we've been arranging like sprints and stuff and I've been arranging sprints with in not sprints a uh, live show with India and Pris for the kiss quotient but I am goosed today i don't i just didn't sleep very well last night at all i was awake till one o'clock in the morning reading uh because i couldn't put my book down i'll tell you about that in a second but i was still awake at five o'clock this morning or half five this morning um so i don't know what's wrong with me i just can't sleep properly and i feel very snuffly and stuffed up so i'm not happy about it yes i'm wearing the same outfit as i was yesterday i don't care their track it's a tracksuit and i'm very comfortable i don't care so uh let me tell you about my book i read the whole of book lovers yesterday well it ran into this into this morning uh but till one o'clock this morning uh and i fucking love this book this is my new favorite book of the year you and me on va no not you and me on vacation that's the other Randall henry book um the family you make was my favorite book of the year by jill charlis until this uh this has got like one point more than i say one point there's like one point difference the intrigue in this got 10 uh rather than nine on core pile for me because i couldn't put this down i read it in one sitting so i um loved this book this was fantastic i loved the characters i loved that it wasn't just a friendship there was a sibling relationship going on in the background um and i loved that we were going through still many many years later the grieving process with our main character uh, from losing her mother and it was just fantastic i loved the sibling relationship between nora and libby i adored that and i adored seeing that going on as well because i have that very strong fierce relationship with my brother where i would do anything for him and he would do the same but not to the point that I am um, mothering him because we still have our parents. Whereas in this relationship, Nora and Libby lost their mum at reasonably young age and Nora has been essentially mothering Libby ever since and Libby just wants a sister. That's essentially what's going on here. So I loved that relationship and all of the good stuff going on with that then i love the relationship between nora and charlie going on as well and also charlie with everything that's going on with him on his side of things and with his family i love the small town setting uh i loved how it ended as well because i was expecting it to end differently but it didn't like the ending's predictable as always but it was different than what i was actually expecting so i loved that in the end and I just had such a good time with this. I did all of the book references in here. I loved that. I got like 100 pages in before I realised what I should have been done. What I should have been done. What I should have been doing was annotating this. I'm always terrified about writing in these really, really nice floppy books. But also they're perfect for writing in. So I think when I do a reread of this, I'm going to annotate it. Because there was so much shit in here that it wasn't shit. But there was so much stuff in here that I really wish I'd annotated. And I just felt right in my core. Both between uh, Libby and Nora and Nora and Charlie. Both in like a friend, uh, sibling relationship and a relationship relationship sense. I just felt it right in my core. Fuck, I loved this book so much. It was so good. This is my new favourite book of the year. I am obsessed. It was fantastic.
I loved it. Emily Henry has done it again. I do wonder whether or not to go back and read like A Million Junes and I think she's got another couple or something. Uh, I honestly thought her first one was Beach Read and it wasn't. It was just her first like adult romance I think. So uh, I have debated going back and reading her others that came out before these but I'm fucking obsessed. 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 It was amazing. I loved it fantastic five out of five stars obviously so now i'm going to try and finish rainbow gray by laura ellen anderson it shouldn't take me too long maybe about an hour so once i finish this i'm going to grab myself some lunch and then i am going to try and dive into the abc murders i actually don't know how long the audiobook is for this how long will that take me because it's on book beat, which means I can only go up to two times speed. Five hours and 59 minutes, so six hours. So it should take me about three hours. Pushing my luck to want to get that finished before the end of this readathon. Hang on. Can I get it on script so I can... Up <sighs> I can. So that I can um, boost it to two and a half speed. <laughs> which will give me a little bit more extra time. Are you going to download? How long will that actually take? It's hard, so I use an audiobook calculator that I always have open on my phone. An hour and 12 minutes. That's so much better. Wait, is that right? Oh, it's because I'm putting three in because that's, no, that's not right. Duh. <laughs> Two hours and 24 minutes. Okay, that's more realistic. So we'll do that then. Uh, so I should still be able to get these two finished as long as I don't procrastinate and fuck about. Uh, I do have some bit worky bits to do, but I'm going to do them later on or I may do them while listening to this. I do find these very easy to listen to. So I may do it later on while listening to this. But I'm going to go and get started because I'm pushing my luck otherwise if I'm not careful. So let's go with Rainbow Grey. Six and a half hours later. Okay, hello. It is much later on in the day. It is currently 10 to 8 in the evening. Obviously, this readathon ended like almost four hours ago. Uh, but I have been taking it really easy this evening. I even fell asleep by accident for about three and a half hours this afternoon. <laughs> Um, I, it wasn't that by accident. I intentionally went up to bed to go have a quick lie down because I was feeling really, really tired uh, and then just fell asleep for three and a half hours. I obviously didn't sleep very well last night and I am struggling a little bit with my mood being so low. I forgot that with my family being away this week and Andy's worked all week as well, how alone I would be this week which isn't something that has been a thing for a while for me now because obviously I've been like since um we kind of came out of lockdown and stuff last year I've seen my family like not every day but I've seen my family every week and obviously I work with my brother so I met his on Wednesdays Thursdays Fridays I'm usually with Andy on the weekends unless he's working and if not I'm with my family so um, it's been a while since I've been on my own like this long. It seems ridiculous because the last time I saw someone was Andy on Sunday. Um, so it's only been like four days, but it just really, it does affect my mood a lot. I mean, I was out yesterday, I went and had a massage, so that was good. So I haven't been completely isolated and I was hanging out with Jade, um, Monday, Tuesday as well backstage. So not being completely isolated, but it has been bizarre it's been weird i've been missing my family a lot so uh, it's been one of those things so i have been sleeping quite a bit today but i did manage to read three books during this 24 hour period i mean i was part way through two of them but it's besides the point uh so i did read a check please of volume one which i gave four stars i really enjoyed this this is a queer hockey romance book featuring a boy that really loves bacon as well as hockey uh, and it was great then I read All of Book Lovers by Emily Henry, which is my new favourite book of the year. I gave this a stellar five stars and I absolutely adored this so much. It was fantastic. This, this is a romance, adult romance, following two people who are in the publishing industry and it is enemies to lovers with also a spin on it as far as siblings are concerned as well and general family. And I just really enjoyed it. It's very, very good. 
And I also read Rainbow Grey by Laura Ellen Anderson. I gave this one four stars also. This was adorable, such a beautiful uh, addition as well from Waterstones. This is following Ray Grey, who is a young girl who wishes she had magic like everyone else kind of like in her world. Uh, however, she doesn't appear to do so, but one day she goes to Earth on a like bit of a forbidden trip. She comes back and things take a turn. Uh, this was adorable. I really enjoyed it. I'm excited to get to the next one. Um, big truck and I had a good time with it four stars so this one I did manage to finish I finished this uh, about quarter to one at which at which point I went to go and have a lie down and uh, just didn't even start the ABC murders I accepted defeat on that one I was like no I need to go and have a lie down so I'm still happy though because I managed to get through these books I wasn't expecting to read all of book lovers in fact, I wasn't fully planning when I started this. I did say I'm probably going to pick up the Kiss Quotient, but I've decided not to because the live show for that isn't going to be until the middle of June. So I'm going to take that on holiday with me instead or even read it when I get back from holiday like the week before the live show. So yeah, that was everything that I read during this 24 hour period. Um, I just wanted to do like a bit of a mini kind of readathon because I missed out on Bookopolathon, which was a huge shame. Um, I was so busy on the weekend that I just didn't have a chance to take part. I did do my sprints, but I didn't get a chance to take part as far as reading is concerned because I worked through my sprints as well. But um, it was nice just to kind of cram some reading into like a time frame. I do enjoy doing these. I actually kind of prefer it a little bit more to kind of spreading reading out a little bit. I do struggle at the moment with spreading my reading out because... Uh, I'm trying to split my time a lot more these days with work and family life and social life, you know, all that stuff. So uh, I am trying to find balance, which is a struggle. Uh, also slump. So yeah, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Let me know if you've read any of these. What were your thoughts? Chat to me in the comments down below and I shall see you in the next one. Bye for now.